Hey guys, uh, I happen to be in the uh, Hawk Johnson area, just uh, east of uh, Wawa, and I happen to see the uh, Wawa Snow Riders groomer. I guess they groomed last night and they parked their uh, tucker right here on the trail, well, upside the trail here. So I guess they groomed that trail last night. And the uh, D trail to Duberville is right there. So you just go in there, you see all the, shows all the kilometers on the sign there. Right there it says Duberville. We're 66 kilometers from Duberville right here. Missanabi and Horton Payne, 226. That's the D trail. So that's their snow cat. Some really nice machine. You could see it worked hard last night because it's all full of snow. You must have hit lots of branches. Uh, it's snow falling on the tr on the uh, on the groomer. All the snow you see all piled up. The ice all in the back. Yeah, she worked hard last night. And then that's the cutter bar in the back. What's left of it? <laughs> it's seen better days. So yeah, these are my friends there, our neighboring club. They're hard-working crew. They put in lots of hours and uh, they have great trails. So I'm happy to have them as a neighbor, neighboring club. We get along pretty good. And uh, anytime we need help, if you're willing to help us out and we help them out. One year they were broken down and at the beginning of the season, I... Um, I, I drove down right up here to Hawk and I uh, busted the trail open for them, got it ready and the trail was open that year in time because their groomers broken down so and this year they broke this one but uh, they had offered as soon as it was fixed uh, to come up grooming our area but we ended up with the uh, Sault Ste. Marie uh, groomer. So anyways and head out back on the trail and maybe look at a few other trails on the side of the road of the of our friends the Wawa Snow Riders. So let's get back on the road. This is uh, we're still in Hawk Johnson and uh, Johnson. <laughs> we're still in Hawk and that's the trail the D trail going to Wawa. So you can see the lake markers goes right across there and the uh, Cross the lake right there and you uh, continue on the D trail. So, we're gonna go see farther down the uh, side the highway where the D trail passes. So just to give you guys an idea where the where the trail passes and the, the nice trails that the Wawa Club maintain in this area. So, uh, let's go check them out. We are now on the D trail heading to Wawa. Now, that's looking that way, that's going towards Duberville and uh, Hog Johnson. Now you can see here it says Wawa 14 kilometers then Duberville. Then this is the nice D trail. I like this section of trail. It's pretty nice. It's a long straight. You follow on, on the side of the highway 101. You could see it over there. A little curve there. Then uh, you continue on. You could see it's really been groomed recently. It's really nice. Nice and flat. Perfect. It's uh, one of my favorite areas when I get around here. It's uh, you could really open it up to 50 kilometers. That's the speed limit. <laughs> so yeah, it's a nice section of trail. So I'm going. I'm going to hurry up, go down the road, and uh, shoot some video of a new section that they had built. Uh, yeah, I think it was the year before, two years ago. So before I lose the sunlight, then we're gonna maybe shoot a little video of uh, where the stake lines that goes on the Wawa Lake to show you guys. Okay, let's go back on the road. We are at the Fire Sand Trail. This is a trail going going to the Wawa Club uh, Wawa Club uh, Groomer Shed. The, the Fire Sand Trail, this section here was redone about two years ago. Just a detour because the trail used to pass beside the highway. So this is a nice little twisty section, freshly groomed yesterday, you can see, it goes right down here and that's Highway 101. And then it crosses the highway and continues towards uh, south to the groomer garage where the Wawa Club is all uh, 
set up there with the groomers and everything. So a nice little section of trail with this little hill going up. Nice freshly groomed. Another twisty there and then you go down and you're back. Then you hit back the D trail. You go to Wawa or you go towards Duberville and Hawk Johnson. So another nice little section of the Wawa Club Trail. So next we're gonna go to next to Wawa Lake. The trail goes right by there and I'll shoot some video there. So, oh going down the hill. <laughs> Must be a little tricky hill to go up. You cross the highway and then the it turns you gotta go right up. You know, little steep little hill just right off the highway. That's Highway 101 right here. So let's jump in the truck and uh, go to the inner Wawa Lake. We're now at uh, Wawa Lake. This is back on the D Trail. It follows right beside the snowbank up to over there. Then you hit back the trail. Um, once you get on the lake, it's all staked. There's lots of ice huts there. It goes all the way to Wawa. So I don't. I'd go in the trail, but I don't feel like uh, getting on my running shoes. I don't have my boots. So, but I. You could see just a little bit. Uh, you see the first uh, lake marker if you follow away, all the way down the lake. So. See was groomed last night. They came right up to here. Looks like it's been groomed last night. Not too sure, but yeah. But it's nice and smooth. All nice. Okay, well, time for me to head to uh, to Duraville and I start doing my own grooming for tonight. Okay, see you guys. That's Highway 101, and I'm heading home. We are now at the end of Wawa Lake. See there, ice crossing. Signage says you can go to Duberville, Missinabi, White River, Horn Payne. Well, not White, White River anymore because the trail is closed now. But uh, see, welcome to the Snow Riders trail system. And that's the big main maps you'll find in District 13 all around. Well, what Snow Riders? So, do you see all those lake markers? Now you follow that where the other video, part of the video where I'm showing where it starts. Well, you see all the lake markers all the way there. So this is the town of Wawa, right there. And um, I guess yeah, it's the carnival, it's the parade. So anyways, uh, they see all the uh, fish huts on the lake because they have a big fishing derby uh, every year. And uh, I think it's the beginning of March. Oh, there's snowmobiles coming on the lake right there. That's uh, when you get to the highway, right there. <laughs> 